No, that was about like a 15, 20 second adjustment period. That was good. Oh, it's cold. Welcome to the second best day of the week, arm day. So remember like a week ago when that one dude said that uh, I should get a thermometer for the ice bath? My dad got me a cute little uh, turtle thermometer. This one, this video, I won't be able to say how cold it is because I literally just put it in. But either way, going forward, we're going to know how cold it is, which is very nice. Um, do, 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 subscriber shout out of the day, Jerry Caldwell 0703. Bro, you are so underrated. We need to get you viral. You are bigger than most influencers and your dedication is amazing. I really appreciate you, my man. Shout out to him. Yesterday, when, yesterday, like right before I went to bed, I finished the last uh, clip of yesterday's video. And I said that we were at 400 and, um, 4,335 subs. At the time of this first clip, relatively early in the morning, 4,362. Hey, very close to 30 subs just overnight. I like that. I like that. That's cool. Oh, this is cold as fuck. Oh, there we go. Thank the Lord. <clears throat> so, if you guys want to help support the channel, grow the channel all that good stuff please like comment subscribe do all of the algorithm things that would be really appreciated i'm gonna show you guys the turtle real quick before i put it in there forever whoa look at that he's so cool a little rope i can tie it to somewhere i don't know where the fuck i'd tie it to so i think it's just gonna float And ignore the razor burn all over my fucking body. I didn't realize that it would be this bad. Definitely just going to continue to use the trimmers every single time like I've been doing. Because I look like a whole pepperoni pizza. And I'm not an acne person. Like, I mean, I'll get acne here and there. But, like... I never really got acne throughout my life, so really hurting my ego, bringing out insecurities I didn't know I had. All right, first and second meal of the day. We got 50 grams of protein worth of ground beef, onion, and rice all mixed together. All that rice is going to give us a fat pump for this arm day, so I'm excited about that. Then we got 44 grams of protein worth of salmon right there on top of an apple. So very close to 50 grams of protein per meal. So we're chilling on protein for the first two. Just need two more meals and we'll be chilling. But yeah, that is pretty much it. So I will see you hopefully at meal 100, actually 100% meal three before the workout. Hell yeah, three meals in us before the arm day, that's gonna be nice as hell. So I'll see you then. All right, still continuing at Editor Seth's home gym for this week. Gonna go through the whole split at least before we go back to the uh, actual gym, the workout. I just like changing the scenery. I'm at that LA Fitness six days a week. Like I see it too much. And then I still have to work out on my off day 99% of the time. So like, I'm there seven every days day. a week. Yeah, every day. I'm tired of seeing that place. So I'm enjoying the little home gym setup, even if it is a little, uh, a little shittier compared to a whole actual fucking gym. <laughs> yeah. But we're starting off with cable curls. Uh, we are essentially gonna do the same thing as our regular arm day it's just going to be slightly different exercises doing the same thing 
so we'll be fine. But starting off with cable curls. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I got a protein shake, 42 grams of protein. So we just need one more meal and we're good. You know the video from yesterday? You were like, you did your meal number one and then you were like, okay guys, I'll see you, I'll see you at meal number two. And then it's just instantly at my house. Really? Did I show the meal? I don't remember. No. Did I not show them on meal, all my meals yesterday? I just showed one. Just what? Forgot. <laughs> I thought it was funny. For the whole video? Yeah. One meal. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this cable is like a little sticky, so it puts some resistance on it. It's hard to do cheat reps and shit. I really hope there's a way around the copyright, though. Imagine it still copyrights it. <laughs> I was gonna do rope curls, but it hurts the injured wrist. So can't do that. Kind of foiled our plans a little bit. So I'm doing a variation that I've seen a few people do at the gym and I've never done it. I just have two single cables hooked up to there. And I'm just trying to mimic the hammer curl because the hammer curl is about here. So with this, we're just gonna put it in a position that my wrist is fine with and then go like this. Kind of the same. I, uh, a little tip that I learned forever ago. If you wanna know what part of the bicep you're targeting more, just look at what part of the arm you can see more. So if, you, if you're curling like this, you're gonna hit the outside. If you're curling like that, you're gonna hit the inside. I don't know if that's accurate, to be honest, because I heard it so long ago, but it's just something I've thought about for a while. Shit, could I row this? Oh, this would be, oh, this is great. <laughs> That's nice.
we've been playing instrumentals for the music to hopefully not get copyrighted. So, whatever. I mean, we could search up like free beats or free songs or whatever, and then have some like the stereotypical no copyright sounds music, the like dub set from 2013. We could do that and be fine, but I don't want to listen to that. Last bicep exercise, we're just doing concentration curls with the singular dumbbell that editor Seth has. So, that's nice. I'm only gonna show uh, one set, but like, so one set of both arms. I know your camera takes like 10 seconds to autofocus on the arms. You can see it in the Oh, I just hit the mic. You know, I never do these, so it's fun to do a new exercise. Cause like, it's a great exercise. I mean, Arnold was known for doing a lot of these, but I, it's just like a shittier preacher curl in my opinion. So I never really do it. And I hate single arm exercises. That shit's annoying. All right, starting off triceps. Oh yeah. Started with biceps because my biceps are weaker than my triceps, so I want to start with the muscle. Like, whenever I'm the strongest, I want to start with the lacking muscle. That's just a thought process. Does it really matter at the end of the day which one you start with? I mean, like, a very small percentage. It's not going to make or break something, but, like, it will help a little bit. But uh, starting with the push down, making sure that our elbows are back, because we want to hit that lateral head and not the long head. Whenever the long head, I mean, whenever your arms are stretched out in front of you anywhere like this, you're hitting long head. We're saving that for the next exercise. I'm still kind of just going with the flow with, it, with what exercises to choose. Whatever sounds good. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, three sets.
Oh, you lowered it. Fuck. Overhead extensions, most important movement of the entire thing. I'm so sorry that there's not going to be, fuck, I still got to turn on my music. <laughs> I'm so sorry that there's not going to be any music. Editor Seth is going to do editor things because he had a, a brilliant stroke of genius. <laughs> Ooh. I don't often get to work out shirtless, so just gonna do it for the last exercise. Um, just doing some single arm push downs. We're limited with what we can do. We could do a close grip bench. I don't wanna set that all up. It's hard in this situ in the setup that we got here. So we're just gonna hit some single arms. Haven't done single arms in a minute, so that's fun. Ignore all the razor burn on me. Look like a pizza. so jealous of his home setup simply for this lighting. Isn't this some good ass lighting?
All right, Q&A of the day from Tom ET6TC. How to get past the 20% body fat area as a natty. Mr. Tom, I can tell just by how you phrase that, that the reason you aren't losing weight is simply your mindset. Because saying, how do I get past the 20% mark as a natty implies that you need to be on roids to get past the 20% mark, which is simply not true. It's all a calorie equation of, okay, I need 2,000 calories. If I eat 2,200, I'm going to gain weight. If I eat 1,800, I'm going to lose weight. It's just that simple. It's, a, it's an equation. If you do the proper things consistently, forever, you will lose weight. Like, it's just that simple. Um, I have lost 25 pounds within the month and a half-ish of cutting, give or take. Um, I don't know how long it's been. It's pretty sure I'm about a month and a half. Um, my friend Lou, he's been working out for about eight, nine months now. First six months, he trained with me every single day. And he went from 300 pounds to 230. The other day, you said it was 230. So, obviously, him being natural, going from 300 pounds to 230, he's six foot two and a half, six foot three. Like, so 230 isn't like a crazy amount of weight for him. Um, <coughs> yeah, all he did was work out with me. So he's working out properly. And then all I did was fix his eating habits. Cause like whenever we would go to McDonald's, I'd be like, oh, oh yeah, you want a hash brown, only get one or two instead of what he, he literally said he would get eight hash browns, bro. Eight hash browns. No wonder he was at 300 pounds, right? If you eat eight hash browns from McDonald's, you essentially just went over your daily calories in just hash browns. It's absolutely insane. So you need to, one, change your mindset, like I was saying, because if you are thinking, if you are internalizing and constantly saying to yourself over and over and over, I cannot get below the 20% uh, body fat percentage because I am natural. I need roids to do this. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You need to start putting positive affirmations into your brain. I don't like all that wishy-washy fucking law of attraction shit, but it how you what you believe is definitely a huge part of how you will perform in anything so you need to constantly every day tell yourself i can lose weight i can lose weight i will be skinny i will be skinny just keep telling yourself that and you you're already on the right track but then you just need to fix your dieting uh, my dad over the past month and a half proud of you dad he's almost lost 30 pounds a month and a half uh, he's definitely crash dieting and he knows that he uh shouldn't be dieting like that but he's he wants to be impatient what am i gonna do i can't tell my dad not to do it <laughs> but um yeah he's lost close to 30 pounds uh so and he's natural he's fucking 54 years old like he He's, he's starting to look good. He's starting to look good. And he did it naturally, older than you two, when your metabolism's slower and shit like that. So if he can, if he can do it, you could do it as well. <laughs> um, yeah, so just fix your eating habits. Uh, well, to be. So eat more, eat clean. You know what I mean? The eat healthy diet. You can do something like the carnivore diet short term just to lose that initial weight but over the long term you should be thinking eat healthy so what do i mean by eat healthy since we are trying to build muscle uh, and we, we need protein because of that so our meals are going to be centered around getting protein so make sure you're getting at least 0.8 percent uh 0.8 
grams of protein to body weight at the minimum. Try and hit one. So if you're 150 pounds, you need to eat 150 grams of protein. So everything's gonna be centered around meat and then just match the meat with things that you would consider healthy. You know what I mean? You, you're gonna have to figure out what is healthy because there's a lot of things that people say, I mean, that they think is healthy when in actuality it's not whatsoever. Well, it could be healthy, but it's gonna be high calories. We're looking for lower calories. Like that's something my dad uh, mentioned the other day. He used to snack on uh, nuts, no homo, all the time. And then he was like, let me see how many calories it is. After I told him so many times, hey, that's a lot of calories. Um, he weighed it out and it was like a handful was 180 calories of, of like almonds and other mixed nuts. And I could six handfuls of nuts all in my mouth. <laughs> um, I could eat six handfuls in 30 seconds and then bam, I just had a thousand calories of nuts. So just be a little mindful about the calories that you're consuming. Uh, have a fuck ton of meat, mix it with fruit. I've heard people say fruit calories don't count, which in my opinion they do, because even if I gain weight from eating fruit, which is unlikely unless I'm gonna eat so much, at least I'll be healthy, you know what I mean? So eat the fruit and the fruit's gonna taste good, so it's gonna be like little nature snacks to you. That's gonna help you with dieting. Um, drink a fuck ton of water so that you reduce the hunger signal signals that you have. The uh, protein will also do that because it's more satiating than fat or carbs. You, what's it called, fast. Not, I, don't, I don't like fasting for the growth hormone benefits and all that bullshit. <coughs> I don't care about that. It's more about shortening the eating window that you have. So, like, my dad doesn't eat until, I think it's like two or something like that. I used to do um whenever i was waking up at like eight ish i wouldn't eat until like 12 1 2 sometimes like you know i would just eat around that time that's when i would start and just that shortened window of eating helped me lose so much weight because i was already full and i didn't have the urge to eat more <coughs> especially binge eating towards the like the nighttime, you know, whenever you're, it's nighttime, your discipline's lower, so that's why you eat more food usually. It's not because you're eating at night. Time of day does not matter whenever it comes to calories in, calories out. So eating at night won't do anything to you. But a lot of people snack at night, me included, because we're bored essentially and our hug, hunger, hunger signals are going off so we're just bored and we're gonna eat so just the fact that i am less hungry towards the nighttime, big benefit makes me lose a lot of weight reduces a lot of binge eating like every once in a while i'll still go off the rails or something like that because i'm human and i'm gonna fucking i'm gonna mess up sometimes but it's been reduced quite a bit like if let's say i binged Instead of 10 times of binge eating, I'd only binge eat one or two times. That's a big benefit, right? Um, track your calories if you can. If you're lazy and you don't want to track your calories, I 100% understand. I don't track my calories. But if I was someone with less muscle, less calories to play around with, I might be forced to track my calories. That's what helped my dad out a lot, just tracking his calories, because then you know for sure where you're messing up, you know? Because even me, I mean, I've gotten good at guessing calories. I'm, I'm in a good ballpark area because I've been doing it for a while. But even me, I mess up on how many calories I think are in each thing. So you, as a person who is less experienced with tracking calories and stuff like that, is gonna mess up quite a bit more than I did. So definitely track your calories if you can, especially with you having less calories to play around with because you probably weigh less in terms of muscle, you know, at least compared to me. Um, 
to continue on the carnivore topic, uh, because I, I really like the carnivore diet, a mixture of the carnivore diet. So whenever I'm trying to get like lean, 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 or trying to start off a diet or something, I'll change it around whenever, whenever I throw it in. Um, meat, fruit, fruit as snacks. Try not to go overboard on fruit because, you know, extra calories. But so carnivore diet mixed with fasting. That's my two go-tos. Simply just eating meat and then fruit as snacks, not too much. And then having a shortened eating window, fantastic. Um, reason I throw in fruit, other than not wanting to kill myself of dieting and only eating meat, is because I don't know if you've ever eaten just meat, but the toilet does not enjoy when you only eat meat. So I want to reduce that. <laughs> like I've heard of people saying like I have liquid shits from only eating meat. And it's like, oof, that's a little uh, delicious to say the least. <laughs> but yeah, the, the carnivore diet should not be used long term though. Because it is unhealthy. You know, are you going to be healthier eating just meat compared to the standard American diet? Of course. But once you have gotten to um, a relatively experienced level or like you can add in other things, whatever it may be, definitely eat more than just meat. You know, try and be healthy. Have your fruits and vegetables and other healthier snacks. Um, just try and eat low calorie. That's enough rambling. I don't know how long I've been going on for. 12 minutes, that ain't bad. All right, next meal of the, oh. hello. <laughs> um, next meal you are not gonna see, but it's gonna be chicken, carrots, broccoli. So pretty fucking healthy right there. That is gonna put us at our protein goal for today, over it actually, so we're chilling on protein. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Go down to the Instagram and TikTok. Please follow. Help me out. Um, we are doing good on subs recently. It's because of the, the change in the videos. I've been really trying to put extra things that would help it out. So please help me fucking grow the channel. That'd be really appreciated. So, yeah. I will see you tomorrow for legs. <laughs>